it's Jill and today I am coming up to you with a how to pull your horse's mane for sensitive horses video. So as you guys know, if you've seen any of my videos, Zoe is rather sensitive and um, to all the people that say that horses don't have nerve endings in their mane, she says, you're brown. <laughs> yes, she definitely does, let me tell you. So I used to be able to pull her mane and I would use a humane twitch, I'll show you. I used to use a humane twitch which you just put their little nose between these two bars and you wrap it around and you clip it to their halter and you can probably guess why I don't like doing that more than I have to. I don't like forcing her to do things that she's clearly not comfortable with and um, using her body against her I guess. I don't know, maybe I'm just being a snowflake but I, try, I like to treat my horse with respect and she doesn't like it, okay we'll find another way to do it and that's not uncomfortable for you. So I actually saw this video on how to pull your horse's mane the right way and I was like, okay. Um, at least I think that's the title. Um, I'll link it down below because obviously this is not my idea. I learned it from somebody else and I just wanted to like share it more. So I'm gonna show you guys how I've been doing it because of that video and be sure to check out that video. Anyway, to start, um, I have a fan on Zoe because I just rode her and it's it's a little toasty out here, it's probably 80. I've got a fan on her because I haven't hosed her off yet, and there's a reason. So, the first step in pulling your horse's mane, pull sensitive horses. When you ride, their pores open, just like your pores open and you start to sweat. The same thing happens for them. So, their like, pores in their mane open up and the hair comes out a lot easier, so you don't have to like pull on it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I hope that makes sense. So anyway, I've already ridden her, she was very good. First things you want to do is you want to have a comb to brush it out and then your pulling comb. I have one with a little handle on it because it's easier to... I'm just going to run you guys through like what I'm going to do and then I'll show you. So first you tease the mane back and if you have a horse like Zoe who has had their mane pulled before and still doesn't like it, the back combing may be really like unnerving for them. So just back comb it, comb it down, good girl, and then back comb it, comb it down, good girl, and just like get them desensitized to that feeling again. And um, then wrap the hair around the comb and then you're just going to apply pressure and you'll notice the horse starts to let go of the hair itself, like the mane just starts to pop out. And you'll feel a little popping sensation. Don't rip it out like every one of their grandmother has probably taught you to do. You like tease it, wrap it around and rip it out. She will have a panic attack. <laughs> if you just want to change the way that you do it on your normal non-sensitive horse, then this is a way to do it too. You just apply pressure and it'll start popping and the mane will come out and then you apply a little more and it comes out and you're good. And you say good girl. And I like to scratch it up in her mane because it's, you know how they groom each other and they kind of like scratch up in their mane. And also, you know, like if you have a sore and you like rub it, it feels a little better. I don't know, I'm, am I trying to hurt? I don't know. I just, I want her to be happy. Move the camera a little closer. Okay, we don't have any lights in our barn, so <laughs> this is going to be dark. I'm just gonna comb it out first and stick my comb in my pants. I'm gonna comb it out. And don't put any show sheen or olive oil or any sort of slick spray in their manes because then you won't be able to grab onto it and it won't come out. So, as you guys can see, Zoe's mane is super, super thick. I mean, just like a small section like this is as thick as my ponytail. Like, <laughs> it's ridiculous. And generally speaking, horses' manes get a little thinner this direction and thicker this direction. In the middle is where it's like really thick, so that's where I try and concentrate. And if you don't have time to pull it all in one day or be that patient or your horse is getting tired of it, then you can just spread it out over a week or so. Yeah, they're generally more sensitive towards their withers and towards their head, so just be mindful of that, and you might still have to use some words. Come a little closer, can you see? Are those the words? <laughs> Maybe. So you see the mane, you feel the mane, you be the mane, and sh I'm already making her nervous. You see good girl. So just gonna take a section of the mane, comb it down, make sure it's all combed out, then take it and back comb it. Just a little section. Can you see how little that is? And then wrap it around the comb, and it comes right out, no to do, no fuss from her. So just comb it down, back comb it, wrap it around, and add pressure and wait. And it comes right out. Again, you just comb down, take a section, comb it up, wrap it around, and hold. It comes right out. So I'm gonna continue doing this. Oh, so bird, see, it's, she doesn't, she says, ah, I'm going away. So if you wrap it around and put your thumb on the hair so it doesn't slip out, apply pressure. And sometimes you may grab too much hair 
and that's maybe why it doesn't come out the CC. Look at it. she said, oh, that's not so bad, but you can see it's a little thinner up here. There's quite a lot of hair on the ground, and then I have this, and if you're wondering why I was saving so much of my hand, it's because I have to do another hair analysis, and I'm sending her hairs back off to Simply Equine, and um, so I thought I would just grab some right now so that we can run her tests again and see if um, we need to update the supplements. So check out my first hair analysis video up here, and I'm making a part two to update you guys on how she's been since, and if it's worth it, and some more details about it. So yeah, okay, sorry for the tangent, let's get back to pulling her mane. Okay, so I'm gonna do this for a a little bit longer, a little bit longer, because um, I have to go because I have college at 11. I'm just gonna finish up this little patch here and then we'll get you a hose up. Alright? No. It's a part of your body forever. But for those of you wondering why we do this, uh, we do this because um, we have to braid and you can imagine how big and or ugly they get when the braids are super thick and then you have to tie them up in a teeny tiny little knot. So it's much easier to have a thin mane and to braid cute little nice button braids and not have to do a gazillion of them. I am an inventor so I don't need like a ton of nice dainty little braid because um, I have to take them all out in like 30 minutes before my next ride so um, yeah I don't know I just I like her mane to be thin and it's also a little cooler and it's quite hot currently but the fact that like she's not I mean yes yeah, she's lifting her head a little bit and wiggling ever so slightly but it's nothing compared to what she is when I like you know rip it out <laughs> so this is, this is much preferable huh much preferable. Much more preferable. But obviously guys, this is taking me a really long time. I'm just gonna have to continue to do this throughout the week. Yeah. It's no fun, is it? At least it's not that bad anymore. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and hose Zoe off and put her away because I have to go. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped. I'm gonna run through the steps real fast one more time. First, ride. <laughs> Second, comb the mane out with like a big comb or this comb. Third, tease the mane back. You can start in the center just because it's a less sensitive area. Like this, you just have to tease it. Wrap a piece around and then you just put your thumb on it like that and add pressure down. And some areas will be easier than others to pull out and some you just gonna have to let go. But the most important part I think is your horse's comfort level and um, just take it at their pace and just tell them it's okay. Tell them they're good when they stand still and um, so on and so forth. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to somebody because I know I wish I had seen this video sooner because for me it's out of control. <laughs> but all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I keep saying that. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Can you see? Can you see her mane? I hope so. Let me make my tripod a little taller. Okay. Uh, turn you this way. Now I'm gonna bring you down, okay? Can you see? They look good. So we do mind. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's change angles here.